Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here at the Rock Hill, York County Airport, where everyone is having fun at an open house. And why, it's this week's Talk of the Town Carolinas. Let's check it out. Stephen Gould, you are the Executive Director of the Rock Hill, York County Airport, and this is what open house and fun family day looks like. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's a lot bigger of a turnout than I was anticipating. Why put together an event like this? Uh, to, to get everybody out here to uh, enjoy what we have. Um, there's still, I, I come across people all the time still to this day that don't even know that there's an airport in Rock Hill. What are the events today? Who turned out to support the open house here for all of this family fun that we are seeing. Well, in terms of the actual like scheduled events, yeah. um, and then we were supposed to have our Young Eagle flights kicking off at 10 o'clock in the morning, but clouds kind of interrupted that for the time being. So we ended up shuffling some things around and had the York County Flyers uh, Remote Control Airplane Club uh, start doing some demonstrations with some of their aircraft. And then uh, we were supposed to have the Sky uh, Sky Dot Carolina do a demo jump at 11 o'clock, but this. Like I said, the skies still weren't cooperating. We are here with, uh, let's see, Carolina. Skydive Carolina Parachute Center and Vortex Skydiving Exhibitions. Wow, you say that a lot better than I can. And your name is? I'm Steve Vaughn. And you are? Pam Anderson. And you two uh, are skydivers, obviously, but what are you doing out here today? Well, we were trying to make an exhibition skydive for these great people of Rock Hill, but the, the weather just did not cooperate today and we're just giving up because the clouds are too low, the winds are a little too high, but we will be back next year. So not today, but the good news for the Carolinas is what? Is that we have an excellent skydive facility in Chester, South Carolina. It's not too far away. Um, it's just like family. Even if you want to come and watch for the day, by the time you leave, we'll have you convinced that you absolutely need to skydive. <laughs> it is a life-changing experience in a good way. Uh, we did have the Team Palmetto flight. It's a group of nine, uh, what we call RV8s, uh, doing different flying formations with some smoke trails coming off the back of them. Uh, really got the crowd fired up. It was smoke really cool. is always like it such is, a great is. special <laughs> effect. It really is. Um, so it, it was great seeing them uh, do their performance and uh, then the Young Eagles got to start going up uh, giving their flights to the to the kids. Now what is that all about because apparently I mean you're talking real live airplane rides. Yeah it's, um, it's, a, it's a program put on by the Experimental Aircraft Association and what it is is it's a program that allows int free introductory flights for children between the ages of 8 to 17 and they usually put on multiple rallies throughout the year where they try to get a bunch of pilots that volunteer their time, and their their money for the fuel of their airplane, uh, and take up these kids to, you know, really experience uh, an opportunity to fly for the first time and really get them engaged in the in the industry. So you get to see a lot of airplanes. Yeah. Uh, what's the cost to get in? Yeah, it's free. It's free. <laughs> what's over there? Yeah, and so uh, some of our other vendors and exhibitors here, uh, we got the South Carolina. Uh, National Guard, the Armory, right down the street from us. They have one of their ambulances and a, and a trucker out here um, to put on display as, as well as their recruitment table. Uh, we got the fire department with multiple engines and ladders and this fire safety house on display for people to check out and use. Um, we have the uh, police department's command center here to also put on uh, a demonstration of their drone that they have that they use for operation now. Um, we got the Civil Air Patrol who does all kinds of uh, different um, search and rescue functions for the, for the country really, but specifically for our state, for our local chapter here. We have uh, Med Center Air, um, which actually worked out. Uh, originally we wanted to have them a lot closer towards the center of activity, but they were afraid in case they got a call, they would actually, because they're on duty right now. That if so they had, if they got about a, like medevac. Is that uh, if, what we're talking about? Oh yeah, if okay. uh, like if they had to go and airlift somebody for either from an accident or transporting somebody from a hospital or something like that, that's what they do. This is where they. Yep, yep. The, this from. is one of three locations in wow. the the Charlotte Metroplex area. So, uh, but then also uh, we have a ton of antique muscle cars, classic cars. Uh, got model uh, model A's. Um, we've got. Hey, wait a minute. We've we, we got we got uh, the Ecto One. 
you know, from Ghostbusters. I, tell me about the economic growth that something like this provides. Yeah, uh, I mean, we, we actually just did a, uh, the, the, the state of, um, the, the South Carolina Aeronautics Commission just completed uh, an economic impact study just this, this past year. It was about an 18 month project. Uh, they usually do an update every 10 years and our the numbers that came out, we've like exponentially grown over the past 10 years to the point where we put in about 80 or 40 and a half million dollars in economic activity annually versus 10 years ago where it was only like 6.4 million annually. Wow. Uh, and that's really attributed to the growth that we've had in this area. <clears throat> um, you know, not just from the hobbyist being here, but it's, you know, the, the, the corporate business aspect of the airport. That's uh, the big driver for these type of uh, facilities. Um, and we're in a perfect location for it. We're extremely blessed for the community to be able to have this airport available at such a close distance uh, for generating those economic dollars. It's going to be an annual thing. Um, we're definitely going to have another event similar to this next year. It'll be our 60th anniversary of the airport, Woo! so we want to have a real big Happy celebration. Happy early birthday. Yeah. Well, that's it's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. If you would like to see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com. You can also check out past segments of Talk of the Town, Carolinas. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.